In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a power dialer and automated voicemails to supercharge your outreach. So all of this right here will help you get even more clients. And if you're like most people, you probably just go to Google Maps and start cold calling all of these businesses right here and hope for the best. A lot of you probably don't even use a spreadsheet to track any of this. And the reason why you don't want to do it this way is because you're going to have no way of tracking your outreach. What happens when a lead says that they're not interested or follow up with them later? You're going to have no system in place to track this effectively. So that's where the power dialer comes into play. With this power dialer, we can track every single cold call that we make. We can automatically send automated follow-up with SMS and voicemails, and this will make sure that no lead is left behind. We're going to get the most out of each lead that we call. So let's just go back inside of Go High Level, and I'm going to show you how to build this. So to set all this up, the first thing that we can do is build out a pipeline to help us organize our outreach. So I'm just going to come over here to opportunities and this is the pipeline that we're going to use and these are all of the stages. So if we just come over here, the first stage of this pipeline will be called campaign started. So every single lead that you add to your outreach campaign will automatically appear right here. And then once you make your first cold call to them, you're automatically going to get moved right here. Now, let's say that that lead didn't answer a day later, we can recall this lead. And once we do that, the lead will get moved over here. Now, again, let's say the lead didn't answer. We can wait another day and we can try to recall them. And once we do that, the lead will get moved over here. Now, let's say that the lead picked up the phone and let's say they tell us to follow up with them later or to call them back they're automatically going to get moved right here now let's say that they answer the phone and they say they're not interested they're going to get moved right here and then if they say they're interested we can move them right here so that's going to be the entire pipeline and this is what it looks like. So you can come in here and depending on how you're building your power dialer, you can customize this to that. So for example, if you only wanna make two calls, you can delete this stage. If you wanna make even more calls, you can add stages to this and so on and so forth. So now that you have your pipeline set up, I'm now gonna show you the automation that'll make all of this work. So let's just back out of here and then let's come over here to automation. And then right here, we have a folder set up called power dialer. So if I click on this, inside of this folder, we're gonna have two automations that'll make this work. So this is going to be the main power dialer campaign pain and then for any leads who don't answer the phone they're going to get moved to this automation right here so first i'm going to show you this automation right here and then i'll show you this one and then later on i'm going to show you how you can actually launch your campaign so let's just click on the power dialer campaign so this is what the campaign will look like and every single lead that we add to this campaign will automatically be updated in our pipeline so if i click right here just like i showed you before here's our cold call pipeline and all of those leads will get moved to the stage called campaign started now after that all of those leads will also get a tag and they're going to be tagged as power dialer just to help us organize our leads even more. Now, after that, all of the leads that we add to this campaign will now wait at this step right here until we cold call them. So once we cold call one of those leads right here, they'll be updated in our pipeline again. So they're gonna get moved to this stage right here, titled call one. And after that, they're going to get another tag and the tag they're gonna get is called cold call. After that, the next action is going to be an update contact field. So if I click right here, this right here will determine how many times we called the lead. But pretty much since this is the first time calling the lead, under the contacts custom contact field, Field, we're going to mark them as one. So once we do that, this automation will wait five minutes and then they're going to come down here. And right here we have an if else condition and this if else condition will determine if they booked an appointment or not. So if they booked an appointment, they'll come down here and they'll just get removed from the workflow. And what will determine if they booked an appointment or not will be if the contact gets this tag right here called appointment booked. So you can trigger this however you like to get them removed from the workflow. But for this example, every time we add a tag to a contact that says appointment booked, they're automatically going to get removed. Now let's say that they didn't book an appointment, we're going to have another if else condition and this will determine where they go next. So if the lead says follow up with them later, call us back or something like that, they're going to come down here and this will just add a task for us to follow up with them within the next five days. And then they're also going to get updated in our pipeline. So right here, they're going to get moved to the stage called follow up. Now, let's say that the lead says that they're not interested. What's going to happen is they're going to get moved right here and they're going to get a tag called not interested. And then they'll also get updated in our pipeline as not interested. So here's that stage. Now let's save this. Now let's say that the contact is interested. We're gonna update them in our pipeline and they're gonna be moved to the stage called interested. And then right here, we're gonna tag them as interested. And then from here, this is where you can book an appointment with the lead. So if the lead is interested, they'll either come down here because they already booked an appointment or they'll be moved over here. And then later on, you could book an appointment with them when they're ready. Now, if we click right here on this if else condition for all of these branches right here, we're gonna have a custom field and the custom field that we have right here is going to be called cold call result. So right here we have cold call result is follow up, not interested, interested interested and so on. So all of this, again, we're going to mark this manually. So when we're on the call with them, if we need to follow up with them, we can mark them as follow up. If they're not interested, we can mark them as not interested and so on and so forth. Again, I'm going to show you how to do this later when we launch our campaign. I'm going to show you how to manually mark these custom fields, but for now, let's just continue. So let's say that the lead doesn't come down here at all and they just don't answer the phone. Well, that's where our second automation will come in. So if we just go back 
and we go over here to the second one. This is titled power dialer no answer. So for this trigger, this will be triggered whenever someone doesn't answer the phone. So right here, we're going to have if else condition, and this will determine how many times we called the lead. And if this says one right here, that means we only called them one time and they're going to come down here. This will wait a minute. The lead will get a follow up text. Then they're going to get a voicemail right here. And with this voicemail, you just want to follow up with them and you want to mention your text right here. You want to say, hey, I sent you a text message. Did you get a chance to take a look at that? And then after one day, we're going to see their intent. So this will determine if it was a positive intent or a negative. Now, if they replied positively, they're going to get a tag right here that says positive intent and then they're going to be updated in our pipeline and they're going to be moved to the stage called follow-up so this is where you can come in follow up with the lead and then you can book an appointment with that lead now if they reply negatively they'll get this tag right here that says negative intent and then they'll get updated in our pipeline right here as not interested so that's what's going to happen when they don't answer their phone now let's say that the lead didn't reply at all to this well that's when we can go ahead and call them again so if we go back to our first automation we can click right here and we can come all the way over here so if the lead doesn't pick up their phone after a day this will see if they booked an appointment and then if they didn't all of those leads will be waiting right here they're going to be waiting for you to cold call them for the second time now once you do that they're going to be updated in our pipeline at the cold call two stage and then over here this action is going to be an update contact field so for this one this will see how many times we cold called them and this number is going to be two so again we're going to wait five minutes see if they booked an appointment if they didn't book an appointment we're just going to rinse and repeat that process so if they answered the phone and they told you to follow up with them we're going to move them over here if they're not interested we're going to move them over here and then if they are interested we can move them over here now let's say that our lead doesn't answer the phone again that's where our second automation will trigger so if we come over here if they don't answer the phone this if else condition will see how many times you called and if you called twice and they still didn't pick up what's going to happen is they're going to get moved over here and they're going to get this follow-up text message and this follow-up voicemail and for this text and voicemail you can just share a testimonial or a review or you can just share some sort of social proof just to better your odds of them actually picking up and responding to you you can say something like this we just helped this business with x if you're interested in us doing that for you as well call us back or something like that and then over here after a day if they responded to this text or voicemail and it was positive they'll come down here if it was negative they'll come down here and now if we go back let's say that they still didn't respond to us well all of those leads will be waiting right here where it says manual call and those leads won't get moved until we call them so once we call them again for the third time they're going to be updated in our pipeline this contact field will get updated and this is going to see how many times we called them this will say number three after five minutes this will see if they booked an appointment if they didn't book an appointment they can come down here over here or right here depending on how they respond and then again if they didn't respond to this campaign right here this automation will trigger and again this filter right here will see how many times you called the business and if you've called the business three times they're going to get moved over here again they're going to receive another follow-up text and voicemail and in this text and voicemail you can just share with them a ton of free value and you can tell them to call you back if they're interested and then right here if they responded positively they'll get moved over here if they responded negatively they'll get moved over here so that's going to be pretty much it for this campaign now if we go back over here this right here is just an example so you can build yours out however you like if you want to you can extend this or if you want to you can shorten this and make this more simple if you don't want to add that additional follow-up that i built out in that second automation you don't have to you can just keep things simple and that's going to be perfectly fine so now i'm going to show you how to launch your power dialer campaign so if we just go back and we come over here to contacts and then you want to come over here where it says import contacts and then right here you want to import a list of all of your leads that you're planning on cold calling so once you do that you'll see all of your leads right here and now you're just going to want to add all of these leads to that campaign campaign so to do that you can select the leads you want to add come over here to this robot icon and then right here you want to click proceed and then over here where it says workflow you want to select your power dialer campaign next down here we can give this a description i'm just going to do something like pd campaign and now if i click add automation all of our leads will now be added to that power dialer campaign so if we come over here to opportunities we're now going to see all of those leads right here and all of these leads right here are now going to be waiting for us to cold call them so if i come over here to automation and i come over here click on our automation as you can see here those are all the leads that we imported and now they're going to be waiting at this step right here that says manual call so what we could do now is just start cold calling all of those leads and to do that you can come over here to conversation then you want to come over here to manual actions and right here you'll see all of those leads in that workflow and what you do now is just come over here click let's start so now it's going to take us to this menu right here and this is going to be the first lead on our list and if we come over here to where it says additional info right here are our two custom fields that we use in this automation so this right here where it says number of cold calls this will automatically be updated with our automation if we call them twice it'll say two if we call them three times it'll say three and then over here at the end of our cold call we can come over here to where it says cold call results and you can just click on one of these outcomes so if the business owner was interested you can click right here not interested you can click this 
this. If you need to follow up with them, you can click right here. Or if they didn't answer the phone, you can click right here. And whatever you click right here will affect your automation. So you can just come through here and you can start cold calling this list. So to do that, to start cold calling these businesses, you can just click right here. And just like that, you'll start calling that business. Now, once you're done calling this business, we can come over here, click on complete. And then if you take a look up here, once this loads, this will take us to our next lead. So for right now, while you're waiting, we can come down here and we can mark our lead. So let's say that the business wasn't interested, we can mark them right here. Now this is going to go on to the next lead. So you can just rinse and repeat this process, call this business, mark them as complete, come down here, mark the result. And just like that, you're going to be super productive when you're doing cold calls. So that's how you can start dialing the list of leads that you have. Now, if we go over here to opportunities, we're going to see that all the businesses that we called are now going to be moved over here. And if we call them again, they'll get moved over here and so on and so forth. And then one last thing that I want to show you to add these custom fields right here to each contact, you want to come over here to settings and then scroll all the way over here where it says custom fields. And then right here is where you'll just add the those custom fields for your automation. So if we come over here, we search for cold call results and number of cold calls. As you can see here, here's our two custom fields that are now added to each contact that we call. So if you use a power dialer in your business, when you're doing cold calls, this will just absolutely supercharge your outreach. You're going to be able to track your outreach. You're going to be able to see how many leads do you need to follow up with, how many that aren't interested and so on and so forth. Now I will go ahead and add this snapshot inside of our snapshot vault down below. Also, if you're brand new to go high level, I will have an exclusive 30 day free trial link down below that you can use. So be sure to check all of that out. And then finally, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.